Are you around? <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? Today on Tools in Action, we're going to save your life. Save your ass. We are. Why? Because this tool will save your ass right here. And usually when you buy these tools, they're cheap, junky, don't work half the time. Yeah, that's the thing is the reliability. Like you said, it's a big <clears throat> thing. I mean, how much do you really trust it? It gives you a good idea, but you still, you know, right. you can't rely on it 100%. And Klein has just come out with the new NZ NCVT3, which is a no contact thermometer and flashlight. Now, when I say and flashlight, usually every one of these you buy has a little light in it. But what kind of thermometer? I didn't say thermometer. Oh, you did. did I say thermometer? <laughs> I was wondering, like, what? Did I say did no I contact did? thermometer? I thought maybe you did. I thought you did. I was like, wow, what is no, this thing? No, you guys, this is a non contact voltage, voltage tester with, with flashlight. flashlight. Um, the proximity sensor indicates voltage, voltage strength, which you'll see right there 12 to 1000 volts, you guys. Uh, Bright flashlight, we'll talk about that. IP67 means it's dustproof and waterproof. Mm -hmm. Pretty tough for the job site. I think every electrician. So not submergible, just proof. Right. I mean, IP you probably 67. could submerge this for a few seconds. I mean, it's got rubber O ring. It's, it's definitely built yeah. pretty good. Powered by two AAA batteries. Um, but the cool thing about this is, is most of America, you have to turn on and you turn on both the light and the voltage yep. part, which sucks up your battery. I think a guy's going to use this a lot for the light. Now, granted, it's not the most powerful light in the world. It's just a little simple yeah, but LED. Yeah, it's pretty bright in here. I mean, this is pretty bright. I think it's going to be. Yeah, but it's going to be able to yeah, get. Yeah, don't into... expect it to compete with like a 12 volt flashlight. Yeah, you're not going to illuminate up the whole entire room, you know, but on a panel, something like that, yeah. it's definitely going to work. Or in a wall outlet when you're trying to touch wires. Well, what I was going to say, which is nice, is you might have light in it, but like you said, you're maybe behind trying to touch wires. You can hit that light on and you can kind of see what you're working with, you know, which, which wire color am I really hitting. Right. You know? Wow, Eric, man, you should be an electrician. What, you shouldn't? I don't think shouldn't? so, no. Uh, auto, let's go over some features. This is our new thing. See, look how good the light works. Yeah, right well, the light's pretty good. Uh, you know, like you said, it has that bar graph on it that mm -hmm. will show you. And did you say they can be worked independently? Did we already talk about that? The flashlight? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The flashlight you can just turn on to use just for a flashlight, and supposedly that'll turn off. Supposedly. Um, screw head, battery I think the whole cap. thing's got an auto power, uh, power off. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, I'm just... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm just looking at it. You know what? It's pretty cool, you guys. Uh, you know, a lot of these things are cheap, junky, but I would honestly say this is the first one that I could actually say a professional is going to like and going to use. This is going to be their most used tool. You know, is that po is that circuit powered? You know, what kind of power is going through there? Whoa, hey, this thing's reading high. This could be a thousand volts. Let's cut the power before we go ahead. <laughs> it's start, before we get orange hair. Stick our finger in our mouth, touch yeah. the light bulb, you know? <laughs> Pretty cool stuff, you guys, from Klein. Check it out. Go over to KleinTools.com. Mm -hmm. um, let us know what you guys think. What one of these do you use? You yeah, know? exactly. I'd like to know what the other ones are out there. And like I said, this thing's been pretty reliable, I got to say. I mean, I don't know. I don't have any power here right now, but it's been pretty. <laughs> no, these lights are all solar. I don't know how these what? lights are on. You know what? Grab Let a 20-volt battery. I can put it on. What? Did you bring the camera in? I mean, it's getting all this stuff right here. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's getting everything. Wow, here. look at that. Show those guys. Oh, damn nice it. Nice job. Oh, my God. All right, here, check it out, you guys. Look, Apple TV, it's getting the power from the cord. Non-contact. And it gets it relatively far yeah. away. So, And that's shielded. It's not shielded by steel. It's not going to work through shielded uh, conduit. There we go. Yeah. All right, enough. Tools in action, you guys. Let us know what non-contact voltage detector you guys like. Click a like because you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe because that's how you save the whales. Save Tools those whales and the snails. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.